I'm going to show you how to mess around with the menu up at the top. Uh, you know, you can you can have all sorts of pages up there. Uh, you know, in, in your menu to that people can go to. You want you know most websites have an about page and a contact page and a, maybe a gallery of images. And it's very easy to do. We're going to go to a, a page here. We're going to create a page very quickly. We'll just say add a new page, and um, uh, up here I'll write contact. And then I would write here, you know, like phone numbers, phone, you know, email, whatever you want to do. This, you know, there are even forms that you could put into this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and say publish this page. So now there's a, now I've just created a new page. Basically, no one can see this page because I haven't let anyone see it. I haven't put it anywhere. So in order to put it somewhere, I'm going to go to the, the appearance menu again, uh, setting again, and I'm going to scroll down here to the word menus. What I get is this page, which allows me to do a lot of things, even though you, it's hard to tell. Whatever pages you create, it'll. Uh, if I say view all, it should put the new page there, and there it is there. Let's say you had 50 pages you've made about all sorts of things. Maybe one of them is just sort of notes you take, uh, and you don't want them all to be showing on the menu. Well, you can create your own custom menu, and that's what I've done here. You just come up here to this one and call, I've called this you know, Carl's menu. This button here you don't necessarily want to click. It's basically add, automatically add new top, the latest pages that you've created. I'm not going to do that. I'd rather do it manually. So I'm going to say click Save Menu here. It's basically saying it only you can only have one menu on this blog. What do you want to use? You want to use the primary navigation one that we give you, or do you want to scroll down and do Carl's menu? So I'm going to click Save to Carl's menu. I can, I can come here and say, I'm going to go view all pages again, and I'm going to go ahead and click all three of these buttons, and I'm going to say add those to this new menu, See, which you will see will appear. If I go to the home page now, you'll see a home about and contact up at the top. Those, like, you see them on all the websites you look at. But let's say I wanted to have subcategories. Let's say I wanted that about button up at the very, very top to, uh, to actually have categories under it, like it was... It was the parent, but there were nested uh, menu items underneath it. So first I'm going to save this menu, and I'm going to add a new page. And I'm going to call that page Journalism Career. I'll go ahead and publish that page, not do anything more to it at this point. And then scroll back to my appearance here and go back to the menus. And now you can see here that there's a new page here called Journalism Career. If I click on that and say Add to Menu, it, it puts it at the bottom. I can change the order of these things easily, That'll appear, how they appear at the top just by moving around. But I can take this journalism career one and just notch it in under that, and, and it is now a subcategory to that menu item. So if I sit, hit Save Menu again, we'll go take a look at what this page looks like, what our home page looks like. So when I come to the home page, you can see that uh, when I roll over the About button, there is the journalism career, and when I click on that page, it'll be blank because I have nothing there. I wrote no information there, but this is where you would find all of that information. And I could do the same with contact, and I could string pages all the way along here, depending on the content of my, my blog. One other thing I want to show you about menus, um, you can also access them right from there just by clicking without going through the dashboard, is you can also uh, post a URL here. So let's say I want to have a link <clears throat> to this class I teach in this menu uh, bar here. So all I need to do is just post that link here and I'll call it creative process class. Add that to the menu. And now you can see it's a button on the menu. And when I save this, these menus can take a little while to save, so uh, be patient. I'm going to come back to our, our home page. And now you can see here's the creative process. And when I click on that, it actually takes me right to that class. So that's pretty handy too. The last thing I want to show you about these menus is that you can actually modify them a bit just by clicking. If I click on this, uh, you can see that the, the home page is going to take you to this, this address, which is our WordPress blog, but you can change that, believe it or not. Um, down here, the same thing with this one here, this creative process, you can change that. You can change the name of it. You can make changes right here. You don't have to go back to the page to do it. So that's pretty much menus, and uh, they're really not that hard.